All right, welcome back, everybody. My name is Lucky Guesses. Today we're gonna to be playing some Portal Two. I decided on <laughs> not doing the bonus levels on Portal because I struggled for like twenty minutes just doing one level, and I was not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, hope if also if, if you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It helps me out. And I'm going to stop dilly-dallying. We left off, uh, got exploded town. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Oh, what? You will hear a buzzer. Oh. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. We'll hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. That was gymnastics. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Okay. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. I'm staring. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you no. suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Oh. Good. Now please return to your bed. What if I don't, though? I don't want to return to bed. I want to go, go away. I want to be free. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This emergency call Hello? is so important. Anyone in there? Subjects should vacate the enrichment Hello? immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door? At this time. Any Will time? Assume to have exercised his oh. or her Hello? Remain in extended no. relaxation. Are you going to open this door? Because it's fa it's fairly urgent. Concerns regarding this policy. Oh, just a pack. Ah, oh. Oh, you scared you them. Look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Prepare. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Oh, I was here for a long time. All right, down time. there. Can you hear me? No. Hello? We are experiencing technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Oh no. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell no. me, just say yes. No, it doesn't. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just <laughs> jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All okay, reactor core safeguards uh, are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Reactor core meltdown? Oh. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention oh. this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. I'm going to get on the bed. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Terrible. I think the game's really The alive. reserve power <laughs> ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold oh on. God. This is a bit Stop tricky. It. Stop it. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Uh, why should I be kept informed? Oh my gosh! You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Oh wow. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. I think it's... Uh, just, just no. can't get through here. No! Okay, I just can't concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Yeah, that's terrible. Oh, oh, I hit that one. I hit that oh. one. 
This is crazy. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, uh, tell them as far as you know, uh, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. He killed... On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I don't like how loud I, I he is. I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Uh... Uh, uh. <laughs> Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's wow. one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Oh Hold gosh. <laughs> Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, uh. do a hold on this time. Get me out of this place. Good luck. Oh. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Oh. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances to of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. Okay. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Yeah, I think that's better. Oh. Hey, I'm wearing shoes this time. That's cool. <laughs> this is trippy, though. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, uh, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. <laughs> the odds of cube based apocalypse. This is cool. So I've been in a coma for 999 days. Aperture Laboratories. This game is way crazier than the first game already. If you feel already. liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. What? You are what? simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. What? What? Ear canals being emancipated is not a good thing. Hey, look. Oh. I didn't see what happened. Huh? Activate. Oh, I, I can't activate that from there. Oh. Portal. I want the cube first. Gimme. It's my good old friend, the companion cube. <coughs> Not even clinking noises. Lame. Oh, a pew. Oh, a boo. Okay, time to. Yep. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your uh -oh. test environment is unsupervised. Uh, uh -oh. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, uh -uh. please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Uh, I don't think this elevator is safe to use. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. <laughs> the recording shuts out. Number two. Hey, hey! You made it! Hey! There should be a, a portal device on that Wee -wee. podium over there. I can't see it though. Oh! oh! Ah! <laughs> Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Follows. 
No. Also, it... Are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. Okay. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. <laughs> Go team! See you in an a hour, malfunctioning hopefully. portal gun? If you're not dead. Uh -huh. Okay, the scientist created GLaDOS. GLaDOS killed the scientists, and then an orange guy worships the companion cube. Pretty cool. Yeah, wait, 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 okay. And then the lady from the first game is told by GLaDOS that she can have cake, and then the companion cube guy still loves his companion cubes. Orange guy. What is that? GLaDOS and lady from first game transcend. Guy get. Orange guy gets portal gun. And then there's a mural of the first lady. Interesting. Some good old fashioned cave lore. Oh, that's weird. You can see the portals. Hmm. I sh was I looking for anything? Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured huh? that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. The <laughs> to share. That's cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was pretty easy. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. What? <laughs> okay. I like this game a lot already. Okay. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Oh, yeah! Smooth jazz. Ooh. Demonic jazz. <laughs> that was a good that was a good song. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't have control over orange portals yet. Okay. So you're telling me. Gotta get this. Uh, perfect. I could probably grab this one. Come on. A little closer. Yep. Easy. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> My portal disappeared. I'm gonna go up here. Ooh. Whoa. Unreason. Orange kitty. Kitty companion cube. Okay. Nothing I can do over here. 
Where's all the garbage at? None this time. Didn't they say there's supposed to be like some military androids? In the previous one? If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> okay. Number five. Space debris. Ooh. What you do? Oh, cube. Give me cube. I love my cube. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope, can't destroy this. Uh-oh. Oh, that's better. <gasps> no, I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Why did I try doing that? I thought I could jump all the way across for some reason. I can do it like this though. Yeah. Dough for it. Easier than pushing that button, that's Well sure. done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Wow. Why did the... Why did the factory, like... Or I mean, the enrichment center fail? If they had the robots there? This next test hey, applies the principles nice of momentum point. to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> if the laws of physics no longer apply, apply in the future. Haha. <laughs> Haha. -ha. Oh. Okay. What if I... Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Whatever. Let me look around. I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Oh. Woo! I figured out science. Okay. Now I need to get Cube and me. Pretty fun. Liking this one a lot better than the first one. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> if you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Nice. This is gonna be crazy to have. Imagine a portal gun in real life. Orange portal there, so put the blue one there. Not gonna think about it any more than that. Well, <laughs> okay. I got this. I did not look where it was supposed to go though. I see it now. Okay, cubes up there. That's all that matters. Okay, jump for it. Huh. Okay, so that would be crazy, have a portal gun IRL. Oh yeah. You can literally, you can get anywhere basically. Where did that, do? oh, okay, I see. Huh. Woo! Good work getting this far, future right starter. Here. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Uh, 
To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Okay. Oh, all safety protocols have been disabled. Hey! Oi, oi! Hey! I'm a bear. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Wheatley. Oh, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? <laughs> Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay. Huh. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. Uh -huh. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all okay. right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? Okay. One. One. Two. Two. Three! That's high. It's, oh. it's too oh. high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, <laughs> go on one this time. Okay, ready? Go on one. one. Catch me, catch me! <laughs> I am not dead. I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. The stick on the wall? <laughs> um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. I'm Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? Nope. I can't. Wheat, Wheatley. I can get closer. I can't. I can't do it if you're watching. Nah, I'm sorry. This is this is how it has to be. I'm close as possible. Fine. All right, you can turn around now. Uh huh. Bam! Secret panel. Right open. Huh? While well, your back was turned. Wow. And off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. Nice. We go wherever we want. Just Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, okay, okay. Just follow the rail, actually. Hello. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're hello. good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. How are you doing? Hello. hello. Have you met my friend Wheatley? <laughs> You're different. You're different? What? That's, that's scary. That one's sentient. Oh. <laughs> okay. I was trying to bring you up to speed on something right now. Uh -huh. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And uh -oh. she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Uh-huh. I thought she got destroyed. Wasn't that the big thing? Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Okay. Okay. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Oh. A proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. Huh. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. <laughs> Don't touch him. <anything. laughs> absolutely nothing happened until now. Touching everything. <laughs> oh, this single, this single vine is stopping me from going this way. Okay, you want to go for a swim, Wheatley? Uh huh. The fabled <laughs> incinerator. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This actually, look at it. That is quite a that's quite a distance, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Okay. Also, a note: no braces on your spine either, so so don't land on that. Um, or your head: no braces there. That could, that could split <laughs> like a melon from this height. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so do definitely focus on landing with your legs. Spine ah! jump! Woo! Oh, still held. <laughs> still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's <laughs> tremendous. 
Landed right on my spine. <laughs> okay. Ah! I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I just done it again. I just did it too. <laughs> Pretty scary. This is the main breaker room. Main Look breaker for a switch room. that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Uh, don't interest anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Uh, Just well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something, it doesn't say escape pod. Well, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand? I don't understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Okay. Let there be light. Ah, uh, now it's uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that! Uh, Turning. Oh. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Uh, okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This he's pushing all of them. No, it makes it go faster. Uh oh. He pushed every Power up. initiated. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I, uh, I can still stop this. GLaDOS is alive now? Uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. Uh huh. A A A A A um A. Okay. A A A A. What about B? Wait, did I do B? Do you have heads? Start writing these down. Complete. I don't. Okay. 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 Listen. All right. New plan. Act natural. Act natural. Do nothing. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. Uh huh. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. What? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, look. We both said a lot of no. things that you're going to regret. Uh huh. But I think no, the difference is behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. No! I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to be with the incinerated corpses of your intelligence, AI core. Woo! Oh, gosh. Yep. I gotta make sure to land on my spine. Oh. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be wow. careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. Uh -huh. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. I got you. Don't worry. No! It exploded. My buddy. There it is. Hold on. Uh. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Okay. Once Life. testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Uh -huh. I don't like the way she's talking. She's probably gonna, um... Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. Oh. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. 
After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Only 60 more years? What if I just jump over here? Okay, I can. Why'd you close that? What are you hiding from me? I don't like this room. Huh? Hey, GLaDOS, you better knock it off. Number 19. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And oh. now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. Oh. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. <laughs> Reanimating the dead. I don't think you should do that, GLaDOS. <laughs> so I'm gonna get permanently tortured Sorry, by GLaDOS for eternity. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. <laughs> which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Ugh. Okay. Oh. I did it. Maybe I did it a little too well, though. Uh, put the orange gun over here. Is that acid, you think? No, it's water, okay. Hard to tell. Perfect. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Great. And this decrepit underground facility. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. <laughs> so now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well, you tried to kill me as well. I don't know why you're so mad. I was just defending myself. So is this facility like an extension of her body, essentially? Is that Wheatley? Wheatley? Wheatley, good buddy, is that you? It's gonna shoot me- ah! What did I do? Oh, another one. Okay. Okay, it, it just, uh... Okay, I understand how it works. Okay. Perfect. They made it so you couldn't kill yourself on accident. Okay. I need you... I should have, uh. Well. That blows. A blue portal, please. Okay, I should have checked what portal I was using. <gasps> okay. Okay. So, orange portal there. Blue portal there. Ah, ha, ha. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. <laughs> That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Wow. 
absolutely crazy. You weren't even testing for it, you found that out? Hmm. <laughs> Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I would say a lot of this place is devastated. Too many variables. Suckers. Exile? I don't know. I don't know. You can't. Okay, you can't. Time to go this way. I'm gonna go the other way in a second, don't worry. Just wanna make sure I can leave when I'm ready to. Huh? What is that second one? Oh. The other one's probably in here somewhere. I gotta remember to use the orange one. Don't even try. Feels like a trial. Huh? Huh. Okay, but... I saw the blue one, right? Can I pick this up? Can I pick this up? Beans. I thought it was paint cans. Beans. Beans. Can can I have a second weird cube thing? Oh. Why am I so dumb? I have a tool and I'm like, oh. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Huh. That's messed up. I don't really feel One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. I don't do anything but destroy this facility. Uh. She could just kill me if she wanted to. Why is she... She wants to torture me forever, that's what it is. Right here. Ah! Why did I... Why did I... Ah! Oh. Why did I do that, though? Uh -huh, I probably should have gone on that. I need to put... there as soon as it gets in position. Now. Perfect. What? what a, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Orange there. Perfect. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But yeah. for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle <laughs> over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. 
waddle over to the elevator. I didn't go slow, I thought I did pretty quick. Meanie. Big ol' meanie. <laughs> Okay. This is kind of cool. <laughs> Great. Just a whole mess of uh, companion cubes that scooped out of the way. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Uh, that was interesting. They were catapulted. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize what I was doing. Do I need to get that? I don't know what I gotta do. Nah, I'm bad at timing though. Yeah! Perfect. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Uh -huh. Gimme. Oh. Interesting. This place really fell apart. I mean, there's a lot of like, unless I'm like super far down, but I think I thought I seen real light though. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. <laughs> Can't put the. 15 acres of broken glass room. Interesting. Is that a box for the turret? Interesting. Get him away. Gladys. That's what I thought. Why, why were... Maybe she was like flailing the whole facility when she was about to die? Whee! Whee! I messed that up. I'm gonna die now. I gotta go back. We gotta go back in time. Take. Blue. Okay, perfect. Now there's no way I can mess this up. Even more than I already have. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. <laughs> Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Perfect. Oh. Come on. Come on, that wasn't fair. Okay. Get in there. Go, 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 go. Okay. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. <laughs> I heard you the first time. 
Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Didn't get me. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh. Isn't that not light from outside? Huh. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. No, I fizzled that one too. <laughs> oh well. Stop it. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Stop it. They're so nice though. <laughs> it's in a loop. Perfect. It'll be f oh. How dare you? Perfect. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Blue over there. And then orange here. Perfect. We dive in there now. Perfect. Thank you. Don't you dare fizzle this one, Gladys. I'll end you. Again. Good. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. I'm gonna take something with me. Come here, cube. Wait, can I take the cube? I wonder if I can take the cube. I don't think I can. Oh, I could if I, uh... Could if I do this. Come here, cube. Break the rules in test number seven. I'm taking you with me. No! I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. What? We just have a lot of them. You just killed my best friend. <laughs> GLaDOS can just kill him at will, though. That's pretty messed up. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Uh -huh. uh. Uh. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, uh. just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. That sucks. But I can't think in slow motion. Man. Okay, but like... I don't know how to do this. Oh, can I... Okay, you can't shoot lasers through the force field. Good. Oh. I can do this. I just need to, um... Just straight jump. Yes, okay. Perfect. Okay. 
I forgot that when you walk through those walls. Chapter 3, The Return. Okay. Oh. That looks dangerous. Oh. He can't jump on it. I want to see if he could. <laughs> oh. Gladys is angry. Uh, uh, what is happening? Huh. That's cool that the rooms can change at will, though. Hey, it's me. I'm okay. Hey. Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke what? it, didn't you? Huh? There. Try it now. What do you happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. <laughs> mm, this plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Oh, this is fat shaming me. Word, right? Couldn't believe it either. Hey. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. Uh, I'll just lower the ceiling. Completely no. the button? How do I button the button? That's, that's real convenient. I'm gonna have to go back and forth a bunch. Whee! Okay, it's a refraction cube. Blue. Broke my ankles. Nice, thank you. Okay. Straight this way. Oh, I didn't even think about what. Perfect. Just the way it was meant to be. needs to be a orange. A orange. Oh, pfft. right in the face. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. An eagle pil piloting a blimp? Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. <laughs> okay. So how many days have you been ready? 10 out of 22. Oh, 
good stopping point thank you all for watching this video today uh hopefully you're hopefully you're enjoying portal um uh <laughs> i'm gonna keep posting more of this very soon i'm liking this game a lot and i'm gonna move on to half-life next too all right bye